or something. To be uh, fair, yeah. I uh, watched that on, on the YouTube, not live, but uh, I'm not sure why he decided to just his whole list with, uh, with <laughs> Ayla. <laughs> which, is, which is okay, but... <laughs> I have to put up but, something uh, for bait. That but if been it, asking a little much. <laughs> yeah, but if it works, you know, how thematic is that? That's it's beautiful. <laughs> if it works one in a one, one, you know, once in a one hundred times, why not? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just reading up here on the list. Shadowcaster, yeah. Defender is in your arc. Defender gets one crackle token. Yeah, Shadow Coaster is quite good. Have you got any questions? Um, I'm uh, aiming this to the players, mainly. But not me. I think uh, I haven't played Isla before. Check it out. Right, so defensive capability, sir. No, I'm I'm good. Yeah. I played the, the whole game on stream, thinking Isla's ability was a uh, defensive, uh, uh, offensive uh, ability. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She, luckily, she died before I got to uh, actually <laughs> use the ability. Yeah, one, uh, one enemy ship in your arm. Uh, attack, the attendant may change one. Okay. I just realized my TTS is clocking in on seven, 730 hours. <laughs> <laughs> and TTS is the only thing I've been playing on Steam. Yeah, 730 hours. Yeah. I've, I've only got 715. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you probably played a lot more than I have. <laughs> yeah, that's that's all playtime. Yeah. But I think it's probably 90% game time and some idling in menus. And John Cooper in the chat is asking, quick question, how do I spawn faction damage cards in TTS? you get a copy from someone who's got it? <laughs> or you go to the workshop. Yeah. Are, are they in the workshop? I think they are in the workshop. I'm not sure. I'm getting everything from other people. Yeah. Should we vacate uh, the player chat? Yes, or... we shall move over. And players, yes, uh, whenever you feel ready, See, then you can start uh, placing your ships, and uh, when uh, me and Torbjorn is uh, away, uh, you can just um, start the timer whenever you feel ready, and I will start the, uh, the stream timer when I hear the beep. Is that cool? After the game, uh, we usually uh, just pops back into the player's uh, uh, room and to have a s small, short interview, if that's all right. Yeah, some heckling. Mm. <laughs> Mostly. I realize now that I uh, the sound is going out as well, so... There we go. Yeah, good luck guys. John should have had his answer there. Cool.
Welcome, welcome to Target Club TV. My name is Simon, and with me today I have Torbjorn. Welcome, Torbjorn. Hello, pleasure to be here. How are you? I'm doing fine. I'm getting to see someone else play uh, things that blow up. Yeah, <laughs> you're a fre frequent flyer yourself. Yeah. I think I've seen you playing more games on Hexile during the last couple of months that I've actually been streaming. <laughs> yeah, I try to get some stream games on. I, I kind of find streaming games sometimes being more fun uh, as opposed to playing just a casual game. Yeah. Which is more like pra practice. So It is. It's a, it's, it's a little bit more competitive, I think. In, in, in your own mindset, at least. Uh, you, you, I work that way that I try not to make the, you know, uh, the, the mistakes that I make <laughs> <laughs> yeah. all the time. <laughs> you kind of know there's people watching and don't yeah. want to <laughs> look all that bad. But uh... well, shit happens sometimes. You know, I, I, I went on the stream there. The first time I went, went on, uh, on a stream was at the um, SOS in Copenhagen a couple of years ago. Christopher Bengtsson was uh, streaming it. And uh, I, uh, I flew uh, a ship off the table. <laughs> nice. Uh, I, I think I aileroned off round one uh, mm. on, uh, on stream once. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't exist in any uh, any forum on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's only on YouTube. Yeah. Let's see. You are here in uh, the capacity of being a team captain of Norway in the upcoming XTC Championship. Yeah. So uh, welcome. Uh, yeah. Thank you. And uh, with us today we have Kevin O'Connell and Andre Baldwinson. And uh, you, well, Kevin is uh, also representing Norway, and Andre is representing Iceland. Yeah, Kevin. Kevin is uh, uh, Kevin moved to Norway, and he is living in Norway, but he's uh, originally from South Africa. Mm -hmm. So uh, we poached. Well, maybe we poached uh, one of uh, the South African team player, but uh, I'm not sure how how many players they have. They have some really good players, and Kevin is uh, is uh, a really good player as well. Yeah, they do. Let's see, the players yeah. have started here. I see that we should do the old switcheroo here. Ta da! Okay. Uh, do you want to have me go through the list? Or? Yes, please. Would you like? Uh, maybe you would start with uh, Kevin's list then. Yeah, I was I was thinking about that. Uh, Kevin's playing the uh, the Adas, the uh, triple aces. Mm -hmm. uh, he's uh, he's he's opted to not go for the bid, so he's he's, he's got Ayla and uh, Obi and Anakin all decked out uh, in a similar fashion. Uh, Ayla, who's got the uh, ability I always get wrong, <laughs> <laughs> who's uh, who can uh, have friends change their. Um, their Dice, uh, defense dice from a blank to a focus. Yeah, is uh, decked up with uh, sense to be able to kind of uh, do the pre-position maneuver before, uh, with full uh, full knowledge of the opposition. And he's gone for the auto blaster marksmanship uh, shenanigans. Oh. The Atos. Uh, Ayla also got, also got the chopper, and uh, and Kevin is. Uh, Going to spend all his charges early, it seems, to get the uh, erratic chopper yep. dealing out jam to his opponents. And he's, of course, brought Obi Wan uh, as well. Mm -hmm. Sends and marksmanship and auto blasters. And he's got the R2 A6 droid. Uh, you can change your dial. So, from a low, from what is it, a bearing, isn't it? Yeah, I think it uh, is. He can, he can e increase or decrease the bearing of the. The dial, so you can go slower or faster. Yeah, if he wants to. And playing off uh, Obi, he's also got Anakin. Uh, both of them with the uh, ability, uh, which uh, interacts quite nice, tightly. Uh, also with sense marksmanship and auto blasters. An R seven, A seven, probably one of the most undercosted cards in this game, I think. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> getting yeah. uh, free crits on uh, three attacks uh, with the three charges. Yeah, that, so, that might hurt, especially yeah. with the water blasters. Yeah, so if uh, if Kevin can get uh, out of arc and uh, pull through some auto blasters, it would be quite nasty. And uh, on the opposite side, we got uh, Andre. Uh, he's brought Dengar and Bosk and Azaj, a real scum list. Mm. <laughs> Dengar with the uh, punishing one to get the additional die in, in, in the front arc, and uh, he's brought the the uh, reroll droid to R5 P8. Uh, which he can spend charges to reroll die and uh, maybe take a crit himself. Yeah, I think that 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 always happens to me when I, <laughs> I play against uh, Anger. The opponent gets some crits of his own. <laughs> this is a double-edged sword. And he's got Bosk. Uh, Bosk is decked up with uh, Sam Wessel and Greedo to get the double uh, double shot and the free locks and Greedo to get uh, Bosk's ability. Uh, for the conversion of uh, crit to two hits, and he's uh, got fall arm to have um, to prevent his opponent to of from spending tokens. Yep. And uh, he's got a jamming beam. I'm not sure if he's going to use the jamming beam or is it, if it's just in there because it's a free uh, upgrade. In this mm -hmm. list. And lastly, Assange is a ship I've not seen too much of uh, lately uh, in the uh, the Lancer. But uh, he's got uh, the new card, Protected Gleb, uh, to coordinate ships. They're giving away an orange or red token to the coordinated ship. And a shadow caster to be able to track through these uh, ADAS. Uh, and making Kevin's life hard. Yeah. Then again, I just realized that Greedo is not really playing well with the marksman ships and uh, <laughs> no, that's, water blasters. That's, that's <laughs> bad, but... Uh, you still have to uh, get a, get the uh, through the shields, and you have to uh, be able to shoot without getting blown up yeah. afterwards. So, cool. Well, we see uh, Kevin is uh, moving in here, getting a target lock. On, uh, let's see. I realize I haven't done the color. On Isla, Isla, Obi is green. Andre's uh, Bosk to target lock on Ayla. Yeah. And uh, Andre's going fast. And you can also see uh, Kevin taking locks on these obstacles uh, to prevent the uh, chopper um, jam on his own ships, so yep. he can take away the locks. That's that's uh, it's uh, it's good to remember. And uh, Andre has not. Oh, opened up with the locks, and he might regret regret that later. Mm. Yeah, this is it's a it's a different weight to Andre's list if you compare it to Kevin's. Uh, Kevin's got nine hull in total, and <laughs> let's see, Andre's got <laughs> <laughs> Matt. 12, Loads. 21, <laughs> uh, I think uh, 31. Yeah. Can take a hit. I can tank several hits. Yeah. Uh, Kevin can die in a round. Just a bad roll. Blank out. Well, we'll see. Uh, maybe we should uh, answer John's question uh, from the chat again. Now, when we actually are alive. Uh, yeah. I think you should find the fraction demo cards in the workshop on Steam. Or... Yeah, I tried finding them, but uh, I didn't find them. So I think the best way is just uh, steal them from someone if you play them. Yeah. And, uh, most people who've played uh, one of the major tournaments these the last uh, the last year uh, usually have some sort of uh, fun fun stuff uh, already. Yeah. John can also contact me, and we will set up a game, play each other, and he can have them for free. Yeah, that's that's usually what we do in in the big GSP events. Like uh, someone puts up a table and just share stuff. Funwork yeah. is the the sharing guy usually. Family style. Yeah. <laughs> 
So let's see. Andre is creeping slowly closer. Not slowly, really. He's jumping as fast yeah, as he can. He's going really fast. And uh, I don't think Kevin is uh, prepared for how fast he was actually coming. Mm. So Kevin looks like he's running. But it looks like Anakin might be able to flank a little bit here, at least. Uh... Yeah, I might be able to get Dengar and, and get some autoblasters into Dengar. But, mm -hmm. uh, Andre is doing good, a good job with the threatening, threatening with Bosk, uh, coming in uh, the middle lane. Having that 180 degree arc. Yeah, that's scary. A lot of attack dice. And he will also probably get the uh, the lock uh, after he's getting uh, after you shoot Bosk the first time, getting to shoot pro with focus on the lock. Yeah. From uh, from Zab. Let's see. I'm gonna put up Dengar style here and just gonna see which way it's. Yeah, he wants to go to his left. Yeah. We might actually see Dengar coming down and maybe slooping to get uh, the correct side. Yeah. Once Kevin's got gotten away or uh, started in jousting. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Um, I do wonder how much uh, Kevin is going to get out of uh, the sense uh, here. Uh, usually, you you see the Adas probably bringing brilliant evasion to convert uh, force into a lot of uh, evades on defense and taking the uh, taking the evade for defense. But, yeah. uh, with sense, you kind of don't have any offensive power if you go the evade uh, route. You, you burn through, through this, this force quickly with a uh, reposition and sense and uh, defensive or uh, offensive uh, uh, spending. Yeah. But you you think he will um, go heavy on the, the force here? I'm not sure. I don't kind of know. I, I, it's, it, it will be interesting seeing how, how the approach is here because he could just uh, boost and get a lot of uh, distance there just yeah. boost them five straights just to get up in the on andre's side of the board uh, but ayla might not be able to get out if if uh, andre keeps up this pressure no she won't get out of bosk uh, that's the thing So, uh, how are your preparations in the Norwegian uh, team? I know you have a, a, a red team, a, a shadow team that you can train against. Yeah, we, we opted to do that because it kind of involves uh, a lot of players in the community and uh, a lot of people kind of want to, to do something, to take part. We had uh, actually a lot of players uh, wanting to join the team. so. We were fortunate there. I think we had uh, seven, 16 or 17 people to uh, <clears throat> to uh, choose from. And, mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of quite fortunate being a small country and a small community like like uh, Norway. Yeah, Norway. Norway's got a great uh, online community for uh, X-wing, and you also having a a, a, a nationals. Uh, is it this weekend? Yeah, it's this weekend. Oh. Uh, it's it's going to be a small tournament, and it looks like it's going to be primarily prim primarily Norwegian-based people. I think it's not been flagged outside of uh, Norway uh, at all. I think until now. Until now, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, now the podcasts are open. Uh, and it's, but I, th I still think it's uh, it's kind of hidden in some of the Norwegian yes. Facebook chats. And I mean, we got twelve people watching this at the moment, so. Yeah, so now everyone knows. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a bump. That's a bump, and that's that that could be scary when Dengar comes in here. It's gonna be an maybe gonna be an maybe unobstructed. Uh, 
might also be abstracted. Uh, yeah, it looks abstracted from here. Yeah, that's that's that's, hard, that's a hard one to call. Mm. But yeah, the, uh, the Norwegian national is going to happen. And I think it's about 20 players or something. Um, they're all, as far as I know, Norwegian based. Mm. So it's kind of kind of weird because it's one of one of the the guys who organize uh, tournaments in real life uh, and would have done this in real life is going to host it. And he doesn't have a big uh, big uh, online presence. So mm. so. Um, it's gonna be fun and interesting seeing how it's gonna end up. This is a nice move, though. He's getting out of uh, Bosk's arc. He's not yeah. in uh, Dengar's arc. Range one, bullseye. Awful. Yeah, this is the strength of uh, Anakin. Yeah. Just be being able to come in and, and uh, do this. Next turn, next uh, turn, he he's probably not gonna be. Here. Have any problems except with if Asajj is passing this rock? Next. So uh, it was obstructed. Yes. Range three. And uh, Dengar is up, uh, thinking about spending all his stuff. Yeah, all his tokens. So that's uh, R five P eight and a focus three hits. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, this is going to do damage, yeah. That's one. It's not that bad, but... I mean, if you only have three... Yeah, it's almost half points. I know Obi and Noela is not going to get to do anything this round, and probably not next round either, it seems, from the positioning. Yeah. So, uh, let's see. An Auto Blaster, range one, into Dengar. <laughs> it's gonna be three. It's gonna spend a uh, charger. Yeah. I th may maybe yeah. Just being sure. Just gotta get rid of the shields. And he's gonna spend marksmanship. Actually, he's gonna use a marksmanship. Same yeah. as uh, his charges. And there's no defense dice there. Yeah, it's so nasty. The auto blasters just here's some crits. Uh, it's bad enough being crits, but uh. Uh, them being unblockable is also kind of a uh, double, double uh, baddie. Well, we get the second shot here on OB. Uh, two hits. Let's go spend the uh, degree though. Yeah. Hit crit. That's a force. Yeah. Saving Fair. himself. If Bosk ever gets a crit true on, on OB here, it, uh, he's dead. Yeah. So Bosk can spend it to crit to add uh, two, two results. Mm. That's half points on uh, any one of these ships and a dead OB if he ever takes one. And it's really scary. So, uh, what are you flying at the moment? At the moment, I'm kind of in a slump. I would call it. Uh, I'm flying everything and nothing's working. Yeah. <laughs> so I've been. I've been. Uh, I've I'm been doing that flying. for years. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it's it's kind of really bad. I think at the moment for my yeah. myself, so it, it can only get better. But I've been flying some uh, some Republic Aces and I've been flying some First Order Aces and some tugboats. Uh, the list I flew on stream. Mm -hmm. uh, some strikers. The Goran strikers is uh, is uh, disciplined. Goran strikers is really looking really fun, uh, but uh, it's kind of not my play style, I think. Yeah, I sort so, of made it a quest for myself to uh, make uh, Vader in a defender great again. <laughs> so I've been I've been trying to fly that. Yeah, Vader and Defenders is, 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 is never going to happen at this, this point because I think it's uh, it's too prone to variance and it's uh, he doesn't have really great friends with him. You can have some good friends like Fifth, fifth Brother and Seventh yeah. Sister and stuff, but, but he, he's prone to die against the Swarm, just blanking out a couple of times and he's dead. Yeah. But, uh, it's, it's a feel bad list, I think. The, the Vader Defender is something you'll crush your friends with, who's uh, not played much X Wing. But uh, if you play against one of the top players, uh, you 
really have to step up your game. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> <laughs> you noticed? <laughs> Was that bad? <laughs> no, no. I I played uh, three games with it, and I won two. And I lost one. I think there's too many uh, too many lists that could take him out in, in a uh, yeah, tournament yeah. of Swiss or cuts. Uh, it's going to be just gatekept, uh, kept out of uh, winning anything. But I mean, uh, this should be a special prize if you turn up to a tournament for playing playing Vader in the Defender. Yeah, should be. <laughs> like that, that's what I'm aiming for. The special okay. prize. <laughs> Now, now it's kind of interesting because uh, Kevin uh, boxed himself in with uh, Anakin here. There's no way to to barrel out or reposition, maybe to the left, but uh, it seems to be Anakin seems to be stuck in this between these clouds and Dengar. Yeah. And uh, luckily, there's the rock keeping Asajj from just turning one hard into him. Yeah. But, uh, I would say a three bank to the right is. Yeah. The more or less the only thing. <laughs> yeah, I think As Asajj is going to clip this rock at least if he's going to go in with, it, with her. And um, I think kind of Kevin has to probably opt uh, opt out with Anakin. Just, yeah. Uh, three bank out and take an evade, maybe. It's going to use sense though. I I think. <laughs> Did we see a sense? We can. Mm. So five guys is gonna gonna reposition and use sense first, and mm. Anakin's gonna get a free sense on Dengar. Uh, no. Bosk is coming in, like a boss. Oof. Boss there, and sh and Ayla overlapped, but cleared it just barely. But it Smallest margin possible. Yeah. Kevin can't believe his eyes. <laughs> Got nothing. No, no punishment for, uh, for facing off against Anakin here yet. That's great positioning, though. Know? Do see Kevin just running away, way with Ayla, and that probably means Obi Wan is going to do the same. Yeah. Now, do Dengar Sloop to get uh, his good, good uh, side back, or? Mm, or you mean he's going over this stuff? He's, he probably can catch out Obi Wan here with a hard turn. Tough. No, he's uh, he's gonna have a shot here on uh, Isla. Yeah, he's gonna keep on doing the left turn all the way around and uh, following the guys. And, I was uh, not Anakin. expecting that. <laughs> Anakin's gonna get tractored. Yeah, uh, maybe, but it doesn't but matter as long as you don't have any other arcs. Yeah. Now, if you survive. Because you will take a shot did, from. Did uh, did uh, Andre forget about Asajj's ability, or did he opt not to it? So he could spend a force to give Anakin a stress, unless he, he removes his uh, evade. I think he might have. We don't see a stress, and, and Anakin has his tokens, uh, yeah. so he, he must have opted out or didn't do it. Okay, that's so uh, four starved Ayla. Still not taking any more damage. Why did he not spend his? He's a uh, he's uh, okay. careful about uh, Bosk. Uh, he's probably more afraid of Bosk than Dengar. Yeah, it's a crit. Is it Auric from Bosk or Range? Let's see. Is this yeah, is Bosk Anakin. Is oh, I mean, <laughs> Anakin always hit like truck, and uh, yet again he gets to do, do the marksmanship instead of the uh, uh, 
at the droid. Nothing. Taking three. Uh, taking two. On uh, Asajj. Okay, one. Wait, one. Okay. Only shields. Yeah. Now we see Bosk going into probably Ayla, I think. Yeah, that was range. And he's going to prevent him from spending evade. Yeah, that was a bad call. Uh, not spending the, uh, the evade and stuff, of course. So, uh... Yeah, they're re reading Forlum. Uh, uh, Kevin forgot about Forlum, so... So, Andre is, uh, it take, took two iron tokens to prevent uh, Kevin from spending uh, a token of the name type, uh, namely being uh, Evade. And he's got double mods there. Ooh, three hits and one yep. crit. So... Now, a tokenless Ayla. <gasps> and dead it just pops. Yeah. Dead Ayla. Dead Ayla. You called it. Uh, he should probably have uh, spent the evade and uh, then spent the force on this. I would have survived. That was a lucky shot from me. Even direct, just to. <laughs> <laughs> And we did see the uh, the stress come out on uh, on Anakin. Uh, yeah. We probably called it, but uh, we got to put it out. Perfect. 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 So let's see what who is shooting now. Oh yeah, Assage, of course. Yeah, Assage also uh, to shoot. Takes uh, a crit. Takes a crit. This is just piling out on right now. Console fire is going to be bad for. Uh, Anakin. Yeah. I will probably gonna see these two guys get out of dodge. I think Anakin's gonna go, like you said, three bank this time, mm -hmm. maybe. And Obi Wan's gonna probably barrel to the left and just five straight. In. Yeah. Three bank is blue. Let's check this. Or is it? Is it? Yeah. It is. Yeah. And. Will a three bank clear the the rock? Yeah. Uh, Anakin sure. can also do whatever he wants as long as he's uh, at range one uh, True. of a ship. Just spending a force to get rid of his uh, stress mm -hmm. doesn't have to be blue. Could even start uh, start uh, chasing these guys, uh, Dengar and Bosk down here, just pre harding and uh, spending a force to get rid of his stress. But. Uh, might not be the worst position. Let's see. That one's already. So there we go. Thank you. Quite easy to forget the dice and the the, uh, the overlay. It's a, you don't see it when you play, and uh, no, it's off to the side. Yeah. Um, uh, looking at the points. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I cut you off, but uh, yeah, uh, points-wise, I think uh, Kevin is, uh, <laughs> is uh, he has to do a, a real hard job in here getting back. He's only got four hull left in his entire lift list. Yeah, Andre is ahead by 68 points, which means that uh, Kevin needs to take out one of Andre's ships, preferably Assage. Has to be a Zosh or half two of two yeah, ships. Hopping, hopping two of them, maybe. But uh, I think the, he's probably going to take a damage, uh, one more damage on the, one of these guys. So he's probably going to have to take out two of these ships or one and a half. Yeah. 
it's gonna be a, a, a uphill battle. <laughs> Kevin talked about this list, and he, he kind of said it, it's it, it's a quite fun list to play in in uh, games like this, and mm. maybe in, in tournament lists uh, where you don't have to settle on a list. Uh, but they are quite quite nasty if you get bad matchups in, in a tournament of Swiss uh, with a set list. Yeah. So here we're going to get to see Sense, and I did not get to see what the dial was. That was really fast. <laughs> yeah, they have set, quick set again. pace. Four straight on uh, on Asage uh, is coming up. Yep. That means Asage will bump. Obi Wan Kenobi. Yeah, looks like he's gonna pop. Going fast, I'm not sure what he. If, if he would like to be down here, having this asteroid in the way yet again. Maybe he, think he th thinks he can catch out Obi, or maybe he didn't, ex um, didn't see Obi by rolling in and doing the five straight. No. And that's a hit. That's a strain. But yeah, uh, I th don't think we talked much about the XTC yet. Um, you mentioned we have a team in, in Norway, and uh, I think probably people are getting um, getting the information about the XTC right now. Uh, it's being posted around, and the, the website is uh, also up with information to people who are yeah. interested. Uh, there's a lot of teams in, in the XTC tournament. They're talking about up to 40 teams uh, if uh, if everyone can get a roster and doesn't have to pull out. Yeah. So there's an, an intention of 40 th teams in this XTC. That's that's huge. Yeah, that's a lot of that's a lot of games. Yeah, it's, it's almost like uh, the uh, European Championship in football or handball or any of the big sports. Just lots of lots of countries. But uh, it, it is the qualifier first and foremost. Mm -hmm. so we we will get to uh, have a lot of matches in, in a qualifier before before we get more traditional events uh, in August with uh, with uh, the the main event. Uh, uh, one day tournaments with uh, uh, a two day tournament, isn't it? It's one day yeah. with uh, 28th and 29th of August. Yeah, one day with six and one day with uh, one day with five and one day with four games. It's gonna be it's gonna be real interesting. Now so, let's uh, let's see what happened here. There he uh, he rolled an attack die. Was that for? Uh, Kevin rolled for console fire. Oh, cool. uh, he didn't get to, to remove his stress, so no. uh, that's true. Luckily for him, he, he didn't. He rolled another crit. He rolled a crit, so he didn't have to give up uh, half points from the console fire. And he's got the Asage in range two, and the Bosk yeah. and Dengar at range three. And as Asage being shieldless here, he's going to go in and spend the charges on the yeah. R4. He's not getting gonna get shot back. Be at least one crit on Trossage. Yeah. There's the one point apiece crit uh, coming up. <laughs> then go. Blind and pilot. This is, this is kind of uh, playing off uh, what we uh, talked about before the uh, the game. I, I played this list uh, and it was Kevin's idea. It's mm -hmm. kind of Kevin. Stole it from Kevin. And uh, he's doing kind of the same thing I did with my list. Just <laughs> losing ships without actually ever doing anything and having the uh, MVP the Anakin. So, Let's um, see, that's... That's a crit from Bosk. That's a lot of dice, and there's a cloud in between as well. That's evaded. Uh, all the dice. 
Yeah, Obi has just been been a punching bag all this game, and yeah. Ayla also just died. Meanwhile, Obi Anakin's is the bait. Done. Yeah, yeah, and Anakin's done six damage, so uh, Anakin's done more damage than the entire list uh, Andre brought. <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, you guys also have a an XTC team, and Gisli was probably gonna talk some some about uh, the the Icelandic XTC team. As well. Yeah. So uh, we we have Kevin, who is an uh, a South African player, and other than him, we've mostly got uh, the uh, the guys playing regularly on uh, on, uh, on TTS. Mm -hmm. uh, some guys are, uh, uh, yeah. I think I think Norwegians for the most part is uh, quite uh, anonymous, uh, contrary to the Swedish uh, top top guys. But um, we hope to do to do some some uh, make some ripples in the pond when once this tournament starts. I'm sure you will. We have we had the we were fortunate to be able to host the Swedish nationals or Swedish Open. In the beginning of the year so that helped us to basically when, when i decided how to uh, take out the pick the team i just uh went from the top and <laughs> and asked and asked the players who uh, placed themselves um, well in the tournament and uh, yep it's a, it's kind of an interesting way of doing it. We we did a poll and uh, and we kind of asked uh, how should we pick players and mm. uh, are you interested and everything. And uh, most people did think that the tournament uh, standings uh, on TTS for the for the, um, for the last year should be a part of it. But uh, more, many people also thought that uh, general X-wing knowledge and general good good play on on the board and on TTS should be a factor into the play. And uh, we have we have a couple of players who've made cuts in some of these big big tournaments, but uh, it's it's quite hard making cut in this the, the competitiveness of uh, of X-wing on TTT right Definitely. now. Definitely. I mean, e each and every tournament is a international <laughs> stage for famous people <laughs> yeah and you have yeah. people like ollie and and uh, and, uh Talin and uh, nicholas and uh, all, all of the guys are all over the place so. yeah no it, it's a lot of fun don't get me wrong it's uh, it's great to have an opportunity to to play all these people i mean uh, mostly you <clears throat> Under normal circumstances, you would have to go to a, a big international tournament and travel, and you would get lucky to get paired with some people. But um, I think there's a lot of a lot of good players that have, uh, have uh, kept up the uh, TT uh, the X Wing on TT uh, S, and uh, also there's a lot of uh, players who've not played that much. Uh, you do sometimes get into players who've never played X-wing on the table. Just they kind of picked it up when uh, when it went uh, when uh, everything went into, into lockdown and, mm -hmm. uh, and having fun with the game without ever actually uh, ever playing or uh, maybe ever playing uh, second edition. Mm -hmm. It's it's quite quite nice because it it's so easy to um, to uh, get people started when you have every ship and every upgrade and you can just call someone up and. and talk to them like we were doing now and yep. uh, have, have a game don't have to have to plan for an entire evening afternoon bringing stuff and picking uh, up and packing down afterwards yeah i hate the cleaning up bit yes yeah, that's, that's half 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 a game uh, <laughs> <laughs> just cleaning up everything and finding all the tokens and putting it in, in corresponding uh, boxes and uh, bags and stuff so now we see Obi uh, keep being the punching bag of, uh, of Bosk here. He doesn't get to shoot this turn, and he also uh, don't have any tokens on, uh, on Obi. And Anakin is uh, getting rid of his stress with his ability. Yeah. Uh, no, he's getting uh, he's getting a, a, a focus from uh, Obi. 
and is he is probably gonna boost out here i hope so that, yeah. that con that console fire is still still quite scary you're gonna take a shot from azaj and you're gonna roll console this round So here, here, yeah, here we see console fire. Ooh, that's that's half points. Living on the edge. Yeah, a bad roll against the Sarger, and uh, I think it actually just mops this round. This could be the last round. When, whenever uh, you play one of these lists against the, the big brawlers uh, like this uh, the scum list, uh, you you have to kind of be in the mindset that this this could be this could be the right last round. This might end here or. If you don't get out of arc, if you don't have the tokens, uh, you're so vulnerable. So, Bosk took a blinded pilot here from the auto blasters. Oh, uh, it's Dengar, I think. Uh, yeah, it's Dengar. Yeah, that's yes. correct. Dengar. Just keep on doing these unblockables. Yeah. So, this is range three from Bosk. Yeah, into a uh, tokenless. Fadeless. Tokenless but forced. Oof. There he needs he needs the two. And now he needs three to survive. He's ah, getting that's a blank, that's a blank. Uh... So here we see Obi popping. Pop up. Ouch. Yeah, this is a uh, tough hill to climb. Yeah, and, and this is kind of why you don't see that many uh, Aedas in the, in the tournaments, uh, the Swiss tournaments. It's, uh, it's kind of brutal whenever you um, kind of just take these damage and your ship blows up. You don't get out of arc, you can't seem to evade or block or anything, so. Here we got two evades. That's enough. Let's see if Anakin can squeeze it through. Yeah, do his thing. Yeah, there's five left on Dengar, and there is uh, seven left on Massage. And Bosk is still undamaged. Yeah, we got 35 minutes left. And one one hull left on this uh, this Anakin. At least Anakin is a, is a great uh, close combat fighter with the reposition ability and uh, he's got the sense so he, he can make an informed decision about this reposition. Yeah. How he can spend two force uh, to know what the Sarge is doing. And Dengar. Dengar might actually just 4k here. I'm not sure what he's going to do now. Because he can't sloop and he probably doesn't want to go over this rock. He's kind of getting in his own way, I think, here. Bosk has a hard time coming back in, so Asajj is probably going to be the, the, the threat this round. And he's going to have to get Bosk and Dengar back into the game somehow. Yes. Let's see. Torbjorn, would you mind helping me out with the dice again? Thank you very much. I have to speak to Flipster about we can get a command that clears the dice box. Clear dice, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Flipster actually, actually I, uh, uh, I talked to him a couple of days ago and he was, he was looking for things that we kind of want in the game. And, uh, and uh, the game at this point is it's such a, a big improvement from uh, when I tried it the first time yeah. uh, before the COVID uh, stop. Yeah, it was uh, it was a it menace. Was, it was laughable. <laughs> <laughs> it was so difficult to play, having to put down the uh, templates and oh, your yeah. ship and try and eyeball it and bumps and everything. It was just 
horrendous. And and uh, the guys behind the uh, the mob mod has done a, a brilliant, uh, bri uh, put down a brilliant work on on the mod. And uh, it's 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 at a point that it's getting difficult to find things we want uh, <laughs> done with the mod. Just uh, getting up with bad bad um, propositions for him to to um, act on. Uh, yeah. Can't really think of anything except for the clear dice box uh, command. Yeah, and no, that's that's so that's so specific. It's kind of only for uh, for uh, streaming purpose. But uh, there might be some other streamers that would really appreciate the uh, clear dice. Get get rid of the dice from the box, not having to uh, do it yourself or or tell the players to do it. So, what will Kevin do with his sense here? Will he spend to see one of uh, the other guys? Will he go for Bosk, who we know is probably going to do a, a two hard, I think. Trying I'm... to get around. Three hard, it, it is. That's right. I think... A s s I think Assange might go yeah. into block him. Three three blank on uh, on massage so I'm yeah. just gonna come towards Ankin so he spent force on that and he's I always see at, uh, at a precarious situation because he still has the console fire and yeah he will probably have to spend his action repairing the console it's uh, another strain on Bosk It's not the worst thing to get blocked here by uh, by Saj because uh, there's probably not going to be anyone shooting back at you. No. But if uh, if Dengar's uh, 4Ks and uh, Saj 4Ks next round, tie next next round, and Bosk does say something, I don't know what what Bosk is doing <laughs> right now. <laughs> uh, he will get get boxed in. Yeah, three bank from Anakin seems good here. Might be able to shoot into Dengar uncontested and be able to flip the console. Uh, Dengar is barreling away. Yeah. Andre sees the uh, the free opportunity from Anakin. But, uh, Flips the console fire. This is safe. So now, now yeah. this is this is quite interesting uh, with Dengar, because uh, Dengar doesn't like going to the left. No, he has no he has no way of going hard left now because all is uh, hard uh, no, right. He doesn't like like to go right, and all his uh, his hard rights now are stressed. So he has has to bank and bank and bank uh, if you want to go towards Anakin, uh, unless you want to go away and come back. And Asajj has the 4K, I think, or do any something to get back. And Bosk will probably come around this rock. But Dengar is now blocking position to go right around uh, the, uh, the asteroid. Yeah, I mean, at this point, you could probably use Dengar as a bait uh, just to get Bosk in behind and just wait for those crits. Yeah, you don't even need the crits right now because any, any damage will kill, uh, yeah. kill uh, Anakin. So Bosk doesn't need his ability, doesn't need anything. Just get more results than uh, than Anakin yeah. uh, on, on one of the rolls. And Anakin will take uh, two, probably two or three turns to kill one of these, uh, these guys. Let's focus and I... Strain from the gas cloud. Yeah. Boss is be... turning in, clearing. Focus. Strain. Getting ready Get to shoot. It. Yeah. Focus. Yeah.
Dengar taking it easy. Yeah, Dengar is just uh, being the bait, as you said. He's, he's barreling, he has to do a bank next round again. He's going to go all the way around hmm. the side. He's going to leave it up to Bosk, who's undamaged. Bosk has not charged Sam no, he's <laughs> Yeah, he's not been shot at, at, at all. And uh, it's, uh, it's it's kind of good not charging Sam, but it, it also may, it means you don't kill Bosk fast. And we talked about uh, Greedo probably being bad against uh, Kevin here, but uh, he's, he's been able to, been able to uh, not get shot. And not spend, uh, get, give away any Greedos. Yeah, so Kevin shooting uh, nothing here, it seems. <laughs> Getting one result on this attack, and it's even evaded. Bosk can, even Bosk can evade that. Easy. Range three. So now it's getting more tricky to get away from Bosk's uh, arc. Yeah, Next Bosk is probably going to do. Uh, is he going to do a? bank or three hard because I don't know if yeah he, he can do a one hard around here and three hard he's gonna go get quite far I think yeah the bank he made my might not even get a shot so and he can has to go in here I think go after a Sarge yeah but then he's gonna get Bosk from behind Bosk, go, Bosk going around here, he, if Bosk goes around, he might not he get back in the game before uh, Anakin oh. is dead or oh, on the other side of the board. Then again, I thought this game would be over by now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin's been fighting Little... an uphill battle. Yeah. Little Annie. Little Annie, yeah. But uh, Annie, Annie can... And he can do great things from this position against these ships. They're, they're big and it's easy to, to get off of uh, auto blasters. But uh, the amount of, of hull and, and shields left in these guys is going to probably be the, the thing that, that uh, makes Kevin unable to, to win at this point. Do you know what he could do? He could go five straight. Aiming for a bump into Bosk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get a shot at Alex. Dengar and yep. then I just don't... blow through Bosk next turn. I'm not sure if you, you will get the range on Dengar though. Where, when Dengar goes here, one or two bank. Uh... That's fine. You just need to get behind Bosk. Yeah. You do get behind him, but, but then you're going to face up uh, against. Uh... Massage coming in, and Dengar is still going to keep on running. Yeah, here is Massage. I think, I think the best option is going after Massage here and just running away from Bosk. Massage take a stress. He coordinated a focus mm -hmm. to Bosk. Yeah, that's true. Bosk took the lock. So now I think the barrel from Anakin would have been really good here. He's, now he's going to be an arc, no matter what he do, does, I think. Might be able to boost towards this cloud. Then again, it's going to be I may be, may be in the same situation as before, being between a rock and a hard place. Yeah, I mean, I don't think he will get into a Sasha's arc. Nope. And it he is, might he's... get out of Bosk. Uh, I think you go and get out of Bosk here if, if you go for the, uh, the uh, boost. Because also, boss can just prevent you from spending the the evade if you take the evade. So, 
Yeah. Looking yeah. Looking at it from above, it looks pretty good, actually. Yeah, he, he went way out of arc. Uh, still out of Sarge. Range one through the gas cloud. Marsh has, a, has the force, but uh, crits here will still make it true. So here he's probably going to spend a charge. Take a crit. So it takes that crit. Console fire. Yeah, it's quite interesting here uh, that uh, he spent force uh, to uh, to change his uh, dice because uh, the law, the the the, uh, the gas cloud and the the force would probably stop most most damage, and uh, now. And he can just one one force down next round. So he actually took a damage on the console fire. Yeah. And that's half points. Only uh, five to go on a Sarge. Yeah. <laughs> Twenty minutes left. And Kevin is behind by 130 points. That's an uphill battle. It is. So I don't think he will get to shoot the Sarge next round. Uh, uh, Sarge is gonna clear the stress probably mm -hmm. and uh, block any shots from onto himself from Anakin. Sarge will have to do actually. Yeah, Sarge will have to do two straight, or a, he's got a she's got a quite a weird dial, having to go straight faster, two, three, or four straight, or a, three banks and turns. I will clear it. So if if, uh, if Andre wants to, he can get rid of his stress, but maybe he will have to take a um, shot from Anakin. Could also just keep the stress and. and uh, most likely don't get shot. Yep. Hmm. So did you decide uh, if you're going to play in the XTC or you're just going to be the manager? I will be the manager uh, as a sub. Yeah. And we also have... Um, expert list builder Christopher Bengtsson on as a sub and trainer manager slash being also <laughs> nice so did you did you guys end up going for the uh, the uh, restrictive uh, here's your list we I want you to fly this or did you uh, did you guys uh, go more for uh, play what you want uh, yeah I think we, we have a, a little bit of a free approach to this and uh, the players still uh, getting their lists uh, sort of forged uh, at the moment they haven't decided yet trying out different things um, facing off each other facing off meta lists uh, that uh, Christopher has built for the purpose um, so uh, we're in training at the moment. Yeah, we've uh, we've kind of decided this a similar um, similar approach with uh, people playing mostly what they're best at, and uh, hoping that's gonna make a make a be a big factor yeah. instead of uh, pulling out all the meta monsters, and hoping people can actually play them. Did you have any any issues with? Uh, assigning f uh, factions to uh, the players. 
Yeah, I think I think assigning factions was quite easy, uh, but uh, some factions does have a, a bigger player base than others. Yeah. The uh, the empire seems to be played by everyone. In no way it seems. Uh, and, uh, some faction were actually quite quite sparsely uh, populated, uh, separatists, and uh, yeah, I think I think it's the separatist list was kind of uh, hard finding uh, people playing. We have a really good separatist player, but uh, there was kind of no contention for the, that spot. Uh, and the empire list was. Uh, this smart. is not good. <laughs> yeah, and he's looking to, looking for his uh, pilot ability. Yeah, there's a big rock. Clear the uh, tug lock. And... Expand the forest and and remove one one red token of your choice. Uh, That's gonna be the tug lock. I'm just looking at the the tractor here. Yeah, yeah. Because this, uh, <laughs> this is how you uh, how you lose. Yeah. I mean, it's uh, being served on a silver platter here for Bosk. Is he not uh, using the Shadowcaster? Uh, Shadowcaster is after the shoot, actually. It's oh, the pilot yeah. ability he's using, the Asajj. Mm. Uh, just there giving you go. his rest. Reroll, and he's got. Yeah. Focus. Spend. Oh yeah, he. Yeah. <laughs> don't think. Um, don't think. Uh, Andre uh, got on to uh, Anakin actually be being able to remove the lock. That's uh, it's usually not uh, uh, something you do. That's that's a bit see that. Anakin, though. Yeah, I, I, that was uh, kind of uh, expected to happen here. When he got blocked. And, uh, Bosk would get this this range to unobstructed shot. Yeah, no, it was a it, it was a fun game to watch. Uh, I'm amazed that the, the the players have played this uh, list quite well. If you ask me, uh, Kevin's been a little bit unfortunate for the. Yeah, it, it's quite quite hard keeping uh, all of these guys in in uh, the game when mm. you have big arcs and big ships. Uh, that hits really hard. But he he dished out some damage as well. Yeah, he did some damage, and <laughs> all the damage was Anakin. It was only Anakin doing damage. Uh, <laughs> It's quite fun, but uh, it's it's quite harsh, harsh. And uh, at least in the XTC, we we, we probably will be able to able to uh, not have matchups uh, that are this unfavorable. I think uh, because of the pairing, if if you do a good job, I think you might be able to to uh, not take the worst matchups, or you can sack someone. Just say this is <laughs> this this round you're gonna lose for us, and all the other guys can win. Let's see. Shall we shall we jump into the players uh, table? Oh, sorry, I yeah. cut you off there. Yeah, I was I was just wondering about the pairings. Have you have you guys put much thought into the pairings yet uh, in the uh, tournament? No, I rely on Christopher being great. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a real <laughs> scratcher, real yeah. pain scratcher. I, I'll have to watch the only video again. Yeah, I, I I do encourage you to to do some mock pairings though. Uh, yeah. Against someone, and uh, uh, it's 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 tough. Let's uh, let's uh, arrange some. Uh, let's see how the groups are paired, and and then we might uh, do some <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> training. Yeah. Let's see. Let's jump into the players' table. Yeah. I'll see you there. Hello guys. Hey, what's up? Hi. How are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good. Great yeah. game. Congratulations, uh, Andre, and well played, Kevin. Ah, uh, shut man. It was a good time. Definitely a good. Yeah, 
Those ethers are sure are fragile. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those black greens are brutal. Yeah, yeah. I know what all about it. <laughs> Playing at us all the time. So yeah. <laughs> I know how frustrating it is when it just blacks out. Yeah, yeah we had uh, Anakin was the only one who did any damage, if I'm not uh, mistaken. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was, um, he was on a roll. He yeah, was, he was the was hammer the and the anvil. anvil. Yeah, was the only oh, the only one doing damage. I don't think uh, Obi or uh, Ayla even got to shoot their pea shooters. No, I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I played it very aggressive. I know they. He probably, I don't know, Kevin. You know, he probably didn't want to joust the list, so I just made it very difficult for you to kind of uh, either. You know, run or or face face the list. So yeah, yeah, no, totally. Yeah, I think I think Andre, you you caught uh, Kevin on a uh, surprise with uh, Bosk and Fallum. Uh We didn't even see it before you, before you called it out and just. Uh, having, yeah, I uh, totally forgot about it. Yeah, yeah I was... Ayla dying with uh, with an evade, just taking the three shits. Uh, yeah, three yeah. Damage. Oh man, that was brutal. Yeah, because <laughs> I think I'd spent the force on the previous shot from Dengar and kept the evade for that one. Yeah, you did. When I should have spent the evade before, because obviously I was never going to get it. Yeah, I totally forgot about Fallout. Yeah, that was brutal. <laughs> yeah. But um, how how do you think? Uh... So, Kevin, what? What was it that, um, what, what could you have done different? Uh, Do you have any know, regrets? Maybe, uh, I think I probably should have tried to just be more aggressive in the beginning when he was sort of hunting Ayla with Bosk. If I'd really been aggressive with Obi and Anakin to get more shots in earlier, mm. to try and, and, uh, you know, make him sort of pay for for chasing Ayla there. Yeah, I also think yeah, uh, probably what I needed to do. Yeah, I, I think I think all of the guys going away made it easy for Andre just to follow uh, your entire list, and uh, you could you could probably have been doing the um, the preposition moves and just bumping tactical bumping and and get yeah, behind. Yeah. So I think yeah, yeah I also on this five straight that with Ayla on like turn three, whatever it was, um, where I zipped into the corner here, I was super strongly considering like the, the turn in and the barrel roll left and it would have just been a Sarge shot. Yeah. And she probably would have been in behind everything. Um and then I just put in the five straight instead, like <laughs> That's the, the easy, the easy <laughs> way, just running away with these guys. And uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Andre played, Andre play, played uh, fearlessly, just going fast over everything in here, and just yeah, trying yeah. to catch you and out. This uh, the coordinate combo with Bosk is awesome. He just gets like all the things he wants, uh, which is super nice. Yeah, and fall on preventing you from doing uh, an evade. Couldn't actually take an evade on Anakin because for it would just fall off it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it was not a nice matchup for the others. I mean, I would uh, shit my pants if I would see this list playing the others <laughs> myself. <laughs> uh, yeah, I saw the uh, the thumbnails, like the little you know, the little teaser for the stream, and I was just like, oh my god, I'm going to die so hard. <laughs> because the auto plasters, you know, they <clears throat> do, you know, average one or two damage every turn. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, so, and so I have so many. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You yeah. Defend, could... def defend the boss quite nicely, having him in the middle of all of the guys. So, uh, Greedo would get triggered uh, on a lot of shots. Because I, I, I do think the uh, the Adas could, uh, if they get out, out of arc of, of, of Bosk, it just uh, could have melted them in one round, even with mm, these pea yeah. shooters and uh, all crits. Yeah, yeah, exactly, with the Greedo, yeah. yeah. Yeah, true. And I really extended Bosk, you know. I just played him uh, like a maniac, like a <laughs> like a Formula driver. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah but so... you, played it, you played it really nicely, like with Bosk down the middle there, and then Asajj down on the left and Dengar down on the right. It's like a massive uh, sort of board area. You know? 
yeah. where you have arts covering. Um, but you didn't really uh, like get one single charge on Bosk on or on Sam. <laughs> No, no, and <laughs> no. finally when I choose yeah. the card, it was the wrong one. So I, I told Kevin I'm probably the worst Sam player in the world. <laughs> like the whole match, uh, it never yeah. triggered. <laughs> yeah. was... it's, it's, good, it's good to showcase that Sam is not broken sometimes as well. <laughs> yeah. yeah, when you play it like me at least, you know, I kind of I choose wrongly every, every single turn. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was great. But a uh, question to you, you players, have you uh, sort of, have you decided on what list you will play in the Ecstasy or are you still working on it? Uh, I'm still working on it, at least. Yeah. Yeah. Still working on it. Yeah, there's there's some considerations, and uh, I, we talked about uh, the upcoming uh, this upcoming weekend might give some insight into what what kind of list we haven't seen uh, doing great yet. Uh, some list that may, might be the new meta monsters because there's been a lot of new ships coming out and and a lot of big big Swiss tournaments uh, lately so yeah. it's gonna be interesting seeing what kind of list is actually doing really good but there's yeah. i think there's also a there's also a uh, consideration to be had in the xtc because of the format of the pairings that we might see some unconventional lists that would make yeah uh, wouldn't be really good tournament lists but could yeah could be really good in in one of these uh these kind of settings yeah yeah so I think is it anything thinking is it any particular list that you think now, Torbjörn? No, I, I, that, that's the problem because we've we've not theorized anything that would be a count. Because it, if it should be a a, uh, a unconventional list, it's probably going to be a counter to something that's uh, that's good. But uh, uh, I'm not sure about the meta right now. What is what is actually the meta? Because a lot of guys is going to bring uh, meta monsters. Uh, you could also bring just seven meta monsters to this the seven best lists uh, in every faction and, and kind of be content with it but uh it's gonna be interesting seeing what what's gonna be the big big bad lists and uh, how people are gonna counteract them yeah yeah that will be um interesting to see um we should round off the evening but uh i will uh just give a big thank you to kevin and, and andre and uh, torbjorn as well for yeah, hanging I, out tonight I've, I've got a last comment we didn't uh, we didn't have much activ activity in the chat but uh our next contender uh from the norwegian side had a, a comment to kevin in uh, in the chat which is uh, quite yeah. nice just uh, kill Dengar, Dengar as Sergeant Half Bosk, and uh, now for sa final sap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And speaking about upcoming next contenders, uh, next week we will have uh, Johan Hofreberg from Sweden and Ako Engblom from Finland. And Janne will be uh, commentating with me here. And it's, we might get. Uh, Christopher Bengton to join us as well. We'll just see if we can match his schedule. Um, week after that, we will have uh, Christian Kroger from um, Denmark and uh, Leif, who is in the chat. And after that, we will have Eik and from Iceland uh, versus Erno from. Uh, from Finland and last week before the tournament starts we will have Silas playing for Denmark and he will face that's actually not decided yet so uh, we'll see which one of the Swedish player will face Silas on the 26th of May anyway thank you once again we shall finish up this and I wish everyone's been watching a great evening and over and out. Goodbye. Uh, thanks, Kevin. And thanks again for the game. Yeah, thanks. It was great fun. Yeah, thanks for having us. It's a, it's a great concept. Just uh, 
meet meet the teams. We do yeah, need yeah. Uh, we do need the information. I don't. I think many people are in the in the dark in, of uh, XTC uh, if they're not players. Yeah. Uh, the, the, I I I'm gonna try to uh, give the new web page a, a look tonight and see if I can read up on stuff that's. Yes. It's still quite underpopulated. Um, uh, P4 is uh, still uh, adding stuff. But yeah. Mm. It's, it's not quite clear yet. Well, it's it's a work in progress. <laughs> yeah. At least it's it, at least it's, at least it's, it's it's a progress. Many people have been uh, been asking quite some time about uh, information and gathering stuff. So. Yeah. Well, Anyway, good evening and over and out.